Welcome back to Grizz Vision here in Southwest Florida. My name is Neil Rule here with Coach Campy after first round victory in the Gulf Coast Showcase. And Camp, what a thrilling finish. Jalen Moore with the three to win the game at the end. Then you guys get a stop, 63-61, and you move on to Rice. You know, I didn't want it to go that way. Uh, I, but I do think, Neil, the winning it that way will help our team more. Uh, as a group, you know, three freshmen, the four subs of freshmen, it will help us more. Uh, in the future because that last six minutes on offense was just awful and you know we stopped playing we we turned it over we missed some easy shots we, we froze up and to be able to do that and rely on your defense and we got a lot of stops down the stretch it gave us more opportunities and then we got lucky they missed a free throw and uh, wouldn't have mattered you know if, well maybe it would, I don't know but we got lucky that he missed free throw, and then Jalen made a shot. You know, Jalen's like two for 20 on the season coming into this game. He was two for eight at that point in this game. And to have the courage to step up and make the play like he did at Oklahoma State, and he made it. And it was the difference between winning or losing. I mean, Jamal Cain was unbelievable. Trey Townsend, double-double. But we gave, you know, we take Vermont, get a double-digit lead, lead the whole game, and then they come at us. And for if our fans don't know who Vermont is, trust me, go look up. You know, COVID ended their, I think they had a 14 or 15 year streak of 20 wins, a bunch of NCAA tournament bids. They're one of the top mid-majors in the country. And uh, they got, they started five seniors. Listen to me, five seniors they started. We started three freshmen, a senior, a sixth year, we got, you know, a fifth year guy and a junior. And we lead the whole way. And then when the game was on the line, their five seniors made plays and they came at us. And we took it, found a way to win. So this is not a good win, Neil. This is an outstanding win for Oakland basketball. Maybe we're back. Yeah, and Camp, you look at that now and, and Rice, you know, play a triple overtime game. They got the win over Evansville. How does this work for you guys as a coaching staff? You don't know who you're going to play. You know, it's 20 hours now <laughs> until the game. So, so what do you guys do next? Well, both teams are in the same boat. We're going to do nothing tonight. Our guys played a lot of minutes. We're going to go eat and rest and let them go to the pool and hang out at the hotel. And then tomorrow when we wake up, we'll start with them on, uh, on Rice. One of the advantages of playing our zone is that we don't know what they're going to do against it. They don't know what they're going to do against it. So there's not a whole lot of stuff we can tell. All we can do with our with the players is a quick player prep. And what I mean by that is, okay, 13 or 15, 7 feet, scored 31 today for them, going to go over his left shoulder. We got to keep the ball, you know, keep him out of this spot. Uh, number two, left-handed shooter, you know, very good three-point shooter can't let him catch and shoot we got to squeeze him be there on the catch that's all we can do because we really don't know what offensively they're going to do against our zone and we'll do all that tomorrow we'll show them 30 15 20 minutes of tape and get them prepared that way well camp a big time win as you said i mean vermont seven ncaa tournament bids i mean they, they run the america east and uh, it is, it's a big big win well with the schedule we had i read in a lot of preseason stuff that we might be 0-8 or 0-9 and we're, we're three and two with wins over Toledo, Vermont, Oklahoma State, and losses to West Virginia and Alabama. I, I don't think a lot of people would have predicted that. So I think we got to feel pretty good about where we're at. And now we play a, 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 a Conference USA team. And, um, you know, that's supposed to be a big, bad conference. So we'll, we'll go play and see what happens. All right, pregame show at 4.30. Tip at 5 on the Odyssey app. That's an Odyssey app exclusive broadcast tomorrow. Uh, Flow Hoops on the TV side. We'll see you there, Cam. Thank you.